through that whole situation. My favorite tips and tricks. I'm gonna have a clean face, bronzing technique. I'm a blush girly. I cannot believe I haven't been doing this. Such a shiny look. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Happy Vlogmas Day 5. This is a pre-recorded video. I'm going to try and film a few pre-recorded makeup beauty based videos just to help me along through the process of Vlogmas. If you guys don't know what Vlogmas is and you are new here, I'm sure you know what it is. But I'm posting every single day in the month of December all the way up until Christmas. So vlogging on December 1st, posting day one on December 2nd. So on and so forth. So having a few pre-recorded videos just helps me take a break within days throughout the month. Plus I thought you guys would want to see some makeup videos too and not just have it all be vlogs because it gets very repetitive. My makeup videos are one of the biggest things on my channel. I haven't sat down and done like a sit down video I'm telling you guys I think in three months. I actually don't think I've sat down to do a video like this since my breakup. If you guys are, you know, following along with that, I feel like the usuals know what's going on. And I've just been like vlogging, vlogging. Hi, pickles. Of course you come right away. You always know when I'm filming. Um, I feel like right after... Right after that whole situation, I was just like vlogging all the time because I was just busy and vlogging. I went on two different trips, traveling, which makes vlogs. So yeah, here we are now. I'm going to do a makeup video with you guys today. I thought we would just keep it simple and just do my go-to makeup routine lately. Of course, it's very similar. A lot of the same like holy grail products are in here, but a few new techniques and I feel like I've really perfected like this one simple makeup look more recently, especially with being busy. I've like worn makeup so much lately with working at my mom's shop and doing some other like work-related things. I've just been on the go. Truly a gal on the go, like getting ready every day, and I feel like my skin is kind of taking a beating from that. Anyway, that's what we are going to share today. I'm going to zoom you guys in and we will get started. Also, when I'm recording this, I am like, this is the first day I'm feeling a little bit better. I was feeling very sick for the past three, four days. I think it was just a really, really bad cold. Everyone around me has been getting sick lately and I'm not someone who gets sick very often, like ever. So when I do, it hits me like a bus. So today is like my first day kind of stepping out of it. It's already getting getting dark out. It's like 3.30 here in Detroit and I made a hot matcha to get me through this video. Um, so let's do our makeup. I'm going to share with you guys some of my favorite tips and tricks and just like the new sort of look I've been going for. So let's zoom in and we'll get started. Don't have my makeup brushes. Pickles, I need my makeup brushes. You guys, I'm sure, noticed a new little setup here for the makeup. Uh, I think in a few of my last makeup videos, I was getting some comments about the angles. It is really hard to film back in that little vanity nook that I have. It's such a great extra space in my apartment, um, but it does make it a little bit difficult to film with how the windows are. So I set up just for today in one of my other like window sills here. So I have direct window lighting on me and like a much bigger, I feel like a better background. So let me know if you guys like it. I don't know if I'm going to move my vanity all the way over here, but I could definitely like easily film here. I just have to set it all up um, when I'm going to. So let me know what you guys think. I think it's just better when I'm actually facing like front towards my camera. Some days I miss my OG vanity at my mom's parents' house growing up where I started my YouTube channel. If you guys know, you know. It was like such a good setup. And yeah. My hair is pulled out of my face. The headband is on. This is from Versed. I got it in a PR package. Everyone always asks whenever I'm wearing it and I've tried to find where you can purchase it online. They have sold them on their website, but they're so popular and people love them so much that they're like constantly sold out. I'm pretty sure this headband is like reselling on Poshmark for like six, over $60 which is crazy. I got it in PR and they did sell them to customers. Um, so just keep a lookout. Versed Skincare is the brand. I really love it. But I mean, there's so many headbands like this from Amazon and stuff too. I can try to link a similar one for you. 
Okay, let's go into primer first. I have been using a different sort of primer these days because my skin is changing with age with life your skin changes and I've always been someone with really dry skin and I still do have dry skin but I feel like my like t-zone and my face definitely does get more oily throughout the day so I've had to like change some of my products even a few weeks ago I went out party girl been going out my friend was like taking pictures he's like you look so sweaty and my makeup was just so glowy how I normally would do it for my dry skin plus like my natural oils were coming through so my makeup was like not right for me when i know i have like my makeup routine down i was like how is my makeup looking like that what product is it so i've started switching to a more mattifying pore filling primer and i haven't been using my charlotte tilbury um glow product as much anymore because i have those natural oils coming through that's just a reminder that everyone's skin is different make sure you're using and choosing products that really work for your skin type this is the Too faced primed and poreless pore balancing and blurring face primer it's not like super super mattifying but it is more of that like silicone cream blurring primer i like it because it still feels hydrating because it's not like super thick so i'm gonna apply this everywhere it has that really like soft touch finish afterwards and of course you want to have a clean face with regular moisturizer whatever your regular skincare is as well which i did that a few hours ago I'm gonna do a little extra primer today. Also comment down below if you like this zoom in or if you like it zoomed in even more. I probably will once we get to the eyes. Um, but let me know how like close you guys like the camera. If you'd rather see closer or if you like me being kind of like full face. It feels so weird to be filming you guys. It does. You know I haven't always been the most consistent and constantly posting and filming so it like feels weird often but this is definitely a different feeling so pickles you don't need to scratch your nails right now for foundation i switch my foundation around really all the time like every day depending on the exact finish that i want but i wanted something really lightweight and thin today but still like a full coverage going in with one of my favorites the Dior Backstage Foundation. Love this stuff. It's very like thin and liquidy, which you can see with like how the bottle is, but it still gives you such good coverage. And I love the shade range that Dior has in general. I feel like their colors are really neutral and I can always find a perfect shade for me. I feel like this is actually a tiny, tiny bit too light right now, which, oh, I forgot. I was going to mix some of my Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Drops. I normally mix these in with just my face lotion when I'm not wearing makeup to give my skin that glow. But to kind of bring some more depth and color into our foundation, I'm going to add this today too. Just kind of mix it in there. Right on the face. Do, 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 do. This will definitely give us like that glow look too without being too much. Um, I'm going to blend in with this stippling brush. I've been actually loving using more of a foundation brush to initially blend because it's quicker and I feel like it creates a nice light layer on the skin and then I'll still go in with my sponge to like actually smooth it out because I feel like a brush just will always leave like lines and stuff behind. This is truly like the makeup look I have been doing every single day when I'm like actually have to head out the door and like a working gal. I've been doing a lot more things outside of social media and YouTube stuff, which maybe one day I can talk about. Um, I just don't feel like comfortable talking about like the details of it, but I'm working at my mom's shop often, which you guys know, and I definitely want to include that within Vlogmas if you guys haven't seen it already, because this is day five, so hopefully you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. I'm definitely going to be at her store often throughout the month, and that's just like one of my little jobs right now. And then I've also been doing some other social media marketing things. So just a lot more like places to be and jobs to accomplish outside of my own sort of thing, even though it's still like my own thing. It's all very complicated, but having multiple streams of income is important, especially when you're a gal that has to pay her rent on her own now. And 
it's expensive out here okay that's blended out i kind of just smoothed it with the sponge you can see like how lightweight and thin it is you can totally still see through see through and see my blemishes but i totally don't mind i just love the really natural finish it gives oh my god we did not put lip plumper on you guys know lip plumper always first step we really let the product work while we do our makeup and then I finish with like my actual lip products and I wipe off the plumper. So I have a new one now. I'm always switching it around and trying to find the most extreme burning lip plumper there is. That's what I enjoy. If you don't like something that burns, uh, don't take my lip plumper recommendations because I will give you one that burns. <laughs> this is the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Pillow Plump. And, okay, now my lips have foundation on it. Normally, I would want to apply this right away first. Um, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm going to put this on my lips. And make sure when you're using a really extreme lip plumper, you can't, like, overline or, like, be messy. You have to really just put it on the lip. Otherwise, it will start, like, irritating and turning your skin around your mouth red. Because it really is, like, working. So, I put this on. It hydrates them. It plumps them. It gives them some natural color. And then by the time we're ready to actually do our lip liner, we will wipe this product off and then go in with our lip products. I cannot do my lips any other way. Like every single time, even when I'm not wearing any makeup, I still do like a lip plumper and then maybe a lip liner throughout the day, like on a bare face. It is a holy grail and this is a new favorite product of mine. I think I used to use this like years ago when they didn't have the clear one. It was like a colored one in high school and the smell is so nostalgic to me. I can't explain it but I just use the clear like a regular one. So all these products of course will be linked down below for you guys so you can shop them and make it easy for you. Okay for concealer um, if I wasn't doing any foundation today by the way you could still do this exact routine just cut out the foundation and even the primer if you want just do more skincare and go right in with concealer i've been doing that a lot lately too especially when i don't have the time the foundation isn't always necessary so i have been obsessed with this concealer they actually sent these to me so thank you huda beauty this is not sponsored at all they just sent it in pr and i truly like fell in love with this product i have two other um shades they sent me a few different shades but i'm using the shade 3.5 n right now and i really like this color because it's very close to my actual skin color so it's a lot darker than my regular concealers that normally i buy in like a few lighter shades for under the eye but i've kind of been into just using a color that really matches and this concealer is so good i have never used a concealer like this as you can see okay it is a little bit lighter but i feel like it just it's still a really good color for me right now i can't explain the color situation <laughs> everyone's different anyways but i'm putting this under my eye a little on the forehead on the chin and then whenever i have like bigger spots i'll like actually cover all those with this too especially if i didn't have foundation on the reason i love this concealer it has like the coverage and the thickness of like a shape tape it's a little bit thinner than that but what i really like about it is i feel like you don't have to fully like set it with a powder i feel like it's kind of like a self setting concealer and it just looks super smooth and almost like turns into not a powder finish but it like sets on its own in a way i'll still set it with powder of course because i have to normally i feel like a concealer will have a really glowy or like kind of moves around a lot and i feel like this just stays right where you put it and still has a really natural finish you can't explain it it's just really good you guys should try it out if you're looking for a new concealer and you like definitely more full coverage i really really am into it i think did i say the faux filter you guys it is literally about to be like black outside it's not even four o'clock and I looked up, the sun goes down at like 7, or not 7, <laughs> the sun goes down at like 5.07, and I started filming at like 3.30, and it's already so dark out. To set mostly the under eye, I'm going to go in with my Pat McGrath Labs under eye blurring powder. It's like all rubbed off, so I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's a specific under eye powder. I'm like literally hitting pan on this. I don't know the last time I've hit pan on a product, so you guys know this is a favorite. It's just so good and light and gives you that like a little bit of brightness, but it's still like a translucent powder. 
and it really does have that blurring effect. So I just go right in with my sponge, go under the eye, set that concealer down, and then I'll kind of just like bounce around the face, but I'm not setting the entire face because you really don't need to. Okay, just like nice, easy, flawless base, like natural, simple. I feel like it doesn't look like I have a ton of makeup on at all actually. Okay, for bronzer and just to like warm up the skin, I've been doing everything just so much more natural overall lately. I'm back into my Hoola from Benefit. It's just such a classic OG. I love like the amount of payoff that it has. It's not too much, not too little. And the color is really nice and natural, but still like warm. So I just go in with an angled fluffy brush and just kind of like warm up the perimeters of the face. I'm not even really contouring. Like this is truly just a bronzing technique, which means just more freely. Don't doesn't need to be like super um, sculpted or anything. By the way, this is like my daytime makeup look. I don't even know if I said that. Um... I'm definitely going to do some more makeup videos throughout Vlogmas, so if you guys have like a specific look in mind, like something from a TikTok that you've seen, or like my own TikToks, or something on Instagram, let me know. Because I still do have like, we could do like a full, full glam look if you want to see that too. This is just my everyday, truly like going to work makeup look. Okay, do you see how it just adds like such nice warmth? But I'm not like contouring. And I think it's the perfect color because I can kind of do it messy and it's not like gonna look muddy or like go all over the place and look bad. I kind of like go over my eyelids. My eyelids like to get really oily so any more powders that I can put on there always kind of helps. Down the sides of the nose a little bit. Really just add in some color into the face. And going along with that for blush, I've still been so into my Juvia's Place blush palette. I just love how it comes with two different like total opposite colors. One really pale, one more dark. They have a bunch of other shades. I need to pick them up because this is just the perfect layout for a blush. And they're both matte. The colors are great. The pigment's great. I just love everything about it. And Juvia's Place is like a lower end lower price point brand. It's in the drugstore section of Ulta. So I start with this deeper color. This is a pretty rich color blush, but I like kind of the warmth that it has with it because I kind of blend it into my contour. And I mean, this is honestly the only blush I have been using like since I've got it. Whether I'm doing full glam, whether I'm doing the most natural look, every makeup look, this is just what works for me. I love a good matte blush. And then if I want shimmer on the cheek or a highlight, I will add that separately. I don't like too much like glow within the blush itself. And I love layering blushes. So the fact that this just has two right in there is like perfect for me. I'm using a different angled fluffy brush. This is the Morphe E. For, by the way and I kind of just like start on the apple and then blend into the contour I know I'm like moving fast but this is how I actually do my makeup on an everyday basis and then I like to take the lighter pink and kind of like pop this on just the apples smile and just like add that brighter pink right there and kind of like bring it close to my nose over the nose under the eye kind of I'm a blush girly, so I know this might seem like a lot of blush to people, but blush fades the fastest on your face too, so. Cute! What is next? Okay, my eyelids are looking so oily, and if that's the case, I would take like a regular face powder, but this is the only powder I have in front of me right now. So I'm just gonna set the eyelids a little bit more. They're just like needing to be set. And then, honestly, I'm actually going to throw a little bit of hula in the crease just for a little bit more shape. Fluffy brush. Go in with your bronzer. You could even go in with the blush if you want a more rosy tone. And I'm just going to throw a small amount right in the crease. Very simple. Brows. Um, I'm going to speed through this a little bit. The brows have been the same since I've discovered this product as well. And I've just really been on my powder brows lately, especially with this brush. 
This is the Morphe M165. It's a super tiny little angled brush. I also use this to do like a winged liner with shadow. I'll actually use my brow powder to do that. Um, I might do a little bit of that today in this look, but it's kind of like depends if I have time if I do that step or not. So I'm going to brush through my brows, fill them in with my RMS Beauty Powder. I'm in the shade Dark. Um, this is the Back to Brow Brow Powder. And then I will set with my Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia. So very simple. I usually use like a random different brush with a spoolie on it to brush through the brows and some days i make them real bold some days i don't it's kind of just whatever i'm in the mood for but that's why i like a powder because i feel like you have a lot of control and it's easy so i'm gonna speed through this for you guys <laughs> Anastasia clear brow gel. I literally just got a fresh one. This is the best stuff ever. This is probably my longest used product like ever. There's just not another brow gel that compares. It's so thin. It doesn't ruin my other makeup I have on. Sets them down. Really clear. It's not like goopy at all. It's perfect. So I just brush them up, set them in place. And the brows are done. It adds so much framing to the face. I feel like even if you don't have naturally bold brows, just try one day to make your brows a little bit more bold than you would normally, especially when you're at this stage of your makeup. Like, even when I make my brows the boldest, I'm like, ugh, does that actually look good? And then I finish my makeup, I do my lashes, do my eyes, especially if you have a lot of eye makeup on too. Today we're not, we're keeping it natural. Um, I feel like... A good bold brow just really shapes the face and it looks scary at first especially people think if you don't have like naturally bold brows you shouldn't do that but I think you should try it just see how you feel and I think you would be surprised so now for eyes we're just gonna do our mascara um, like I said if I have extra time I will take my dark brow powder and kind of do like a liner with this powder Which is a really nice like natural winged out look today I'm just gonna keep it simple and not do that or I'll like smoke some brown under the eye, but this is like truly an everyday quick 10 15 15 minute makeup I would say 15 20 minute makeup um, to really like get it right I'm just gonna curl my lashes and do my regular mascara. I've been back on my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, such a classic. You have to make sure it's the carbon black. Yeah, that the actual color is carbon black because they kind of like make it confusing. There's a few tubes that say that, but then there's different colors within the products. So you wanna make sure the actual color is carbon black. It will say in like a small little square at the top of the package. Um, obviously I'll have the right one linked down below. And then, of course, my MAC Giga Black Lash on the lower lashes. Another classic. I've really been, like, curling my eyelashes like crazy. I feel like that makes the biggest difference. I'll go back and forth for a while. And I actually just picked up this new lash curler. I don't know who it's by. Oh, it's Tweezerman. Yeah, Tweezerman Lash Curler. And I think just, like, refreshing your lash curler is important. I'll always like use one forever and ever and ever and then I realize it's just like not working as well after some time. Okay, look how curled those lashes are. That's even what I do even if I'm not wearing mascara, I at least curl them because you can see what a big difference that makes. Okay, I'm gonna do my top lashes first. It's just such a good classic mascara. to wiggle and make sure I'm really getting those outer lashes and inner lashes all those little baby lashes you don't see it's so windy here today if you guys hear that little squeaking it sounds like cute little birds out my window but it's actually like the stoplights like moving and squeaking <laughs> I swear the street that I live on is like a wind tunnel and when it's really windy, you can for sure hear it. 
just especially with all my windows i have so many windows in this place which i love but it definitely makes the noises outside a lot louder since this is pre-recorded, I haven't like actually started Vlogmas. The first day of Vlogmas starts tomorrow. And I'm so excited to like actually put Christmas stuff up. I feel like a lot of people have done things really early this year. Um, and like Kelly already has her Christmas tree up. And just like the city is like all Christmassy and everything. But I always wait to put all my stuff up so I can actually vlog me putting it up for Vlogmas. Obviously, it's like one of the best parts, like just being festive during Vlogmas. So I always wait to put my tree up, but I'm just like excited for Vlogmas to actually start so I can really do those things. Sometimes I top off my top lashes with this, by the way. So I have to like figure out where it's actually going to go. It's so funny because by the time you're watching this, this is day five, you probably already know and I don't know. It's like a weird little timing thing. Um, but I'm going to have to like move some furniture around with how the setup I have now. I don't have a good spot for my tree. So I'm going to have to figure that out. And yeah, I'm just excited for it to be like cute and festive and holiday in here because I feel like I've been so busy. I haven't even been like spending a lot of time at my apartment. And just kind of like those weird, it was cute for like fall, but then like all of November, I feel like I've kind of been out of sorts with like the vibes in my place. Because I haven't really been here. I just like come home, sleep, and then wake up and start my day all over again. But as it's getting colder and darker earlier, I'm definitely spending more time at home. And I just love the vibes of like your Christmas tree on cooking and cute little decor everywhere and you guys know I always like to make my Christmas stuff very like non-traditional very colorful and like hot pinks and bright colors no like red or green none of that and oh, it's just like a really happy vibe and it's fun okay I'm trying to apply this on the lower lash line I have to like step back like wiggle on the lashes, wiggle on those corner lashes. Mascara is done. We are almost done with this makeup. Moving on to probably like the most important step that I wanted to share within this video and the reason I actually wanted to do a whole updated makeup tutorial in general. I cannot believe I haven't been doing this like forever. So if you guys like that really highlighted inner corner look, which has been like, that's been a thing in makeup for years and years and years. I did start using the Milk Makeup Crayon. Oh, Pickles knocked it on the ground. I think I talked about this in a recent video. I got one for Nicole and I and it was like a big trend on TikTok. It was a trend before that too but like really blew up on TikTok reminded me of it. So I was using this for a while to do the white on the inner corner which I do still really like but sometimes it gets a little goopy and especially with a more natural look like this I want a more like a blown out highlighted look and not just like a stark white. I like to use this one to have like a full glam eye on if that makes sense. For an everyday highlighted inner corner, I have been going in with my MAC single shadow in Blanc type. This is a shadow I've had forever in my collection. It's just like such a classic shade. I take like a smaller fluffy brush, like more precise the size. This is the Morphe M506 and I go right into Blanc type. They have like a shimmery one too, but this is truly just a matte cream bright shadow and I just start tapping it right on the inner corner and this brush is like the perfect size for it because it kind of like blended out a little bit it's just like right in this right in this space and this will like fade a little bit ever since I've been doing this I'll put some like on the brow bone too but not to where you can like really even tell I just kind of put the extra there but since I have been doing this like strangers Random people will ask me, like, what what concealer are you using? What are you using to, like, brighten your eye? They think it's, like, part of, like, my concealer. That's how much brightness it adds to it. And it kind of, like, adds it in more of a blown-out way, which I feel like looks really good with the natural makeup. I think that's why I've been liking more of a regular concealer because this method just really brightens up the inner corner. And you can kind of like keep layering it and packing it. And I love that it's matte. It doesn't add like any shimmer or sparkle. It is just the best 
little trick that I have been adding into my makeup and I'm so into it especially when I'm wearing glasses over top like it still pops through and just wearing this all day I feel like it keeps my eyes really open and awake and alive looking so that's what it looks like let me know if you guys are into that I think it looks really really good the only thing I've really changed about lips lately is I'm just liking a lot more like bright color and a little bit more pink in my lips I could literally go back on my channel like from when I first started and probably pull clips of me saying how much I hate pink lip products and pink lipsticks and all of that and now I just like need a little bit more color with my makeup i think it looks so good it's so flattering and it's just so funny how like your preferences can change so drastically with stuff like that so i'm going to wipe off the lip plumper this is key if you're going to use a lip plumper before you have to wipe it off before you use your lip liner i kind of like scrub on too it kind of like exfoliates it if you have dry lips like me natural lips i'm going in with the charlotte tilbury lip liner in the shade super size me it's a really pretty like pink color it's like literally a pink lip liner i really want to try out the pillow talk medium they have like different shades of pillow talk now and i feel like it would be really close to this color but i've always like since i've gotten this super size me color i'm really into it it's like my natural lip color but like more vibrant like a little bit deeper so i'm gonna line my lips overlining a little bit of course you guys know i'm still obsessed with my 09 spice from milani that will never change but this just adds more pink especially too for like holidays and just this time of year it's fun to have a little bit more color on your lips i have another really pretty lip combo that's like a more like ready pink color that i'll show you guys in a different makeup tutorial for holidays um it's another charlotte tilbury lip liner I kind of like to take away my cupid's bow to make my lips look more full. Oh, ow, okay, I need to sharpen this. It's like literally scratching me. Normally, I would do like a really nude lip gloss on top, like a light color on top of a darker lip liner, but with the pink lip liner and wanting that more color, I've been using any lip gloss that like has that more like punch of color, whether it's this one's a little bit more corally or like a brighter pink or just something with a little bit more color. And I've really, really been into these Laura Mercier lip glosses. This is in the shade Baby Doll. These are the lip glosses. And I love these. They're so hydrating, like truly hydrating on the lip. Like I could put this on my lips when I really need a chapstick and I feel like this would still hydrate them. It's that sort of hydrating feel. They're not sticky at all and they're so smooth. They're so glossy. So I'm gonna top it off with this. I have a few different shades in this. They actually sent them in PR too, so thank you so much. I really, really like these. And this is like a really pretty uh, summer color. It has like some shimmer in it too, which normally I'm not into, but it does give such a shiny look. Boom. I feel like the lips just look so complimentary, especially with the blush too, when there's just a little more punch of color. You guys, that is the makeup. This is the look. Let me zoom out and like set up my camera a little bit better so you can get the full effect of what the makeup is looking like. That completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the final everyday easy my go-to makeup look lately for everyday busy days i feel like you can do this within at least 20 minutes and just those few little tweaks in my makeup routine i've just really been liking how it's turned out a little more color on the lips really bright inner corner and just really natural soft skin nothing too crazy going on i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look kind of just like chill get ready with me situation part tutorial part like hanging out um and i hope you guys are enjoying vlogmas so far please let me know what other makeup videos you'd want to see for vlogmas i'll probably like already have them filmed by now but yeah just chat in the comments let's hang out thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting me and always being here like truly very very grateful and um, i know it's day five but i'm really excited to start vlogmas tomorrow and just you know get back into it it's stressful but it is like such a 
fun exciting thing to be a part of and this is my fifth year doing it so thank you guys so much for watching of course all those products will be listed in the description box and i will see you guys tomorrow for another video bye